In the last video, we introduced the first postulate of quantum mechanics and started delving into uh, bracket notation or direct notation. And we introduced two quantities, uh, a ket denoted like this and a bra that's denoted like this. And uh, as an example, of uh, the difference between a bra and a cat, we'll consider uh, the vector space of what are known as square integrable functions. Okay, so these are functions that uh, their square modulus does not diverge when you integrate it over all space. Uh, so you might be familiar with uh, already that uh, wave functions in quantum mechanics uh, are square integrable so that they can be normalizable. But we'll go over that uh, in, the, in the following videos. So in this space, uh, we could denote uh, a ket abstractly as standing in for the function f of x. And the corresponding bra will actually be a sort of uh, functional, which takes the complex conjugate of f of x Uh, and integrates that with whatever is to the right of this bra. Okay, so you can see that whereas f is uh, just an abstract way of representing a function, the corresponding bra is some kind of operation that acts, that will act on a, on a cat. So if you put these two together to form what's sometimes called a bracket, And this will be from minus infinity to infinity. Then the inner product for these functions will just be uh, this quantity, which is just another way of saying the integral of the square modulus of f of x. So this illustrates uh, probably the most important difference between a bra and a cat. A bra is something that when it acts on a cat will give you uh, some complex number in general, since this doesn't diverge for square integrable functions. But in general, we said that the inner product gives you a complex number. As a second example, that's perhaps more familiar uh, we can look at n-dimensional Euclidean space. So just uh, three-dimensional Euclidean space is just the space around us that we're used to. Two-dimensional one is just a plane and so on. In general, uh, in n dimensions, we can denote uh, a cat in this vector space by a column vector. And then the corresponding bra will be a, a row vector with the individual elements uh, complex conjugated. Okay, so this is a uh, an n-dimensional column vector. This is an n-dimensional row vector. So for this particular case, the bra is a vector, but as you saw over here, the bra isn't always uh, what we'll call abstractly a vector. And uh, what this will allow us to do is if we take the inner product, so if we apply the bra to the cat, 
you get uh, the usual definition of the dot product that uh, you might be used to from earlier courses. Okay, so this is something resembling the dot product. So in n-dimensional Euclidean space, the inner product coincides with what you've known as the dot product. And this also gives you, in general, uh, a complex number. In this case, it'll be a real number, but um, that's just for this particular example. All right. You also see that this property comes close to satisfying uh, the fact that if you take the complex conjugate of a ket, you get the bra, but you also have the other property that you transform a column vector into a row vector for this example. All right, so I hope this illustrates some of the differences between a bra and a cat. And we'll be using this uh, in the following videos as we introduce the other postulates of quantum mechanics. <laughs>